So in the last part, we changed our user agent and we also inserted every link into an array so that whenever it's crawled, uh, we won't crawl it more than once. So in this part, what we're going to be doing is going to each website and actually getting its title, its description, its keywords, its things like that. The actual things that the crawler is here to actually get. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is get these lines here and we'll just copy and paste them into this function here. Uh, and this is just the code for us to download pages. So obviously we just need to reuse it to download the details of the links. Because this is the code to download uh, each page and we have the pages link. We haven't actually visited google.com or visited youtube.com slash upload yet. So we need to visit that page to get its HTML, to get its title, its description, its keywords, things like that. So we're going to create a variable called title and we're going to set it equal to doc get element by tag name and we're going to get elements by the tag name of title. There should only be one title on a page. So what we're going to say is title is equal to title item zero and then node value. Okay so what we can do is just echo title with a new line and we need to just uncomment this function. And if we run this, let's just see what we get. So the reason for all these errors is actually just, it's not really our fault, we can just hide these errors because they don't actually prevent the page from working. So with all these errors, what we can actually do is just uh, suppress them. So if we just put an at sign ahead of our faga contents function and an at sign ahead of this uh, doc load HTML, and if we run this again, you can see we got the title of the web page, which was Google. Then we got a title of another web page, which was YouTube. Uh, and the other ones are all just made up and they don't exist, so we didn't get any titles for them. So now that we've got our title, we want to get the meta tags, which will hold the description and the keywords. So to get our description, if you see here, we have a meta tag, and then we have a name, and that name says description. And then they have another one called content, and that says the actual string we want to pull out. So that's what we want to get uh, first. So we're going to create a variable called a description and just set it equal to nothing for the minute. Uh, we'll create a variable called keywords while we're here, set that equal to nothing. Then we'll create another variable called metas, which means meta tags. And we're going to set that equal to doc get elements by tag name meta. So because there's more that there's because there's probably loads and loads of meta tags, we're going to use a for loop to loop through them. So we're going to say for for i equals zero and i is less than metas. Then we're going to get the length property. Then we're going to say i plus plus. And then we're going to say a single meta tag is equal to metas item i, which is just the number. So if you can see up here, do you remember we uh, went to item zero because there was one title. There's loads of meta tags probably, so we're looping through them all. Um, each one gets a number and then we can't access node value because that's not what we want We don't want to get node value because meta tags don't have a value as you can see the title There's no closing meta tag as there is on a title So we want to get the content attribute and we want to get the value of that attribute So the first one we're going to use is description. So we're going to say if meta Get attribute The attributes called name uh, which is going to be here, meta name, and we're going to say if that equals description. So we're going to say str to lower uh, because, as you can see, in the case of Apple, they have used description with a capital D, but other websites use it with a lowercase d or they use all capitals. We want to make it case insensitive for our bot to uh, be able to find it. So we just said str to lower description. And if that's true, we'll just say description is equal to meta get attribute content so essentially what that says is look at all the meta tags which are these here and as you can see if you find one with a property of name which is this one and uh, the name of that is equal to description then we want to get the content which is this one here so that should be us being able to get content. Uh, before I forget, I just need to put in a semicolon there. And down here, I just want to suppress these errors too, in case there is any. This just means if there's any website that doesn't have 100% perfect HTML, we're going to get an error. So we're just going to suppress those up there. And we're just going to run the bot again. And we get our, uh, we weren't actually printing out the description. So we're just going to actually print out our description. 
and we will run that. And you can see we have share your videos with your friends and family. That's the YouTube description. The reason we don't get one for Google is because it's not 100% perfect. Google could be using JavaScript or something like that to um, insert the description dynamically or something like that. And our bot wouldn't be smart enough to pick that up, which is why it wouldn't have a description for Google um, at the minute. So what we need to do next is get our keywords. So we'll just say if, paste this in again. Change this to keywords. Change this to keywords as well. And that should be everything. Not every website uses keywords like that, so it might not work. Let's just have a look. We're just actually, we're only printing out descriptions. So we'll say uh, keywords. It's possible we'll get nothing. We can use uh, different techniques to get keywords if this doesn't work. So yeah, it's not that it doesn't work, it's that we aren't getting uh, many keywords because it turns out that um, Google and YouTube don't seem to uh, include keywords in their pages. So it looks like it doesn't work, but it actually does. It's just the um, not every website will include keywords and things like that in the actual way they're supposed to. But uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.